So Milana, have you learned anything today? Yes. What have you learned? Mom. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Semi. I'm Zanaya. I'm 13 years old. My name's Austin. I have a microscope with me. You have a microscope? <laughs> um, I can only see black. So, Austin, do you know why I'm here today? What we're going to talk about? No. Do you know what I do as a job? No. Are you a barber? <laughs> uh, I wish I was a barber. I'm a virologist. That's cool. Do you know what a virologist does? Um, uh, Mommy, get over here! It sounds like virus. Yes, uh, I work with viruses. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, it can be sometimes. I am a virologist. Then why don't you cure coronavirus? Oh, I would love to do that. What do you know about coronavirus? Did you know the coronavirus is shape of a crown? I did. It was first started in China and then People say it was from a bat. How do you know so much about coronavirus? YouTube videos. Are you scared of viruses? So like, I'm kind of scared of it. If there's any kind of vaccine or something you could take to get rid of it, I'll have it first. <laughs> yeah, well, kids can get coronavirus. In fact, the very first coronavirus that was identified decades ago from children, and that coronavirus was called 229E. All those names, they sound like a name you would name a robot. Like R2D2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Milana, do you know what a virus is? They don't have hair. They don't have hair. <laughs> That's true. Have you ever seen a virus before? Well, actually, I haven't either because they're very, very, very tiny. You can't see them with just an eye. I think a virus is probably something that you catch and that's very like harmful. It's like a bug in your system that floats around and tries to kill all those good cells and makes you more sick. Viruses are like parasites. They hijack cells. So they're kind of like little robbers that come in and take care of business in order to replicate. Like have babies? Yep. Uh, we call them progeny. What made you choose to be a virologist? Like, what was your interest that made you want to do it? I actually use viruses to try to cure people. So you use a virus to cure a virus? Uh, almost. So what I do is I engineer viruses to cure diseases in people, like cancer. How does viruses cure cancer? I take a virus and then I modify it, I change it so it doesn't cause disease, and then I use the virus to educate the patient's body to attack cancer. Whoa, that's cool. Have you actually like cured cancer before? I haven't done this on my own, but with my whole team of colleagues and fellow scientists, we have cured dozens if not hundreds of people. Did you know that my Friend Hale lived down the street. She had two dogs. Leroy actually got cancer. Oh, poor dog. What's the difference between a virus and a bacteria? Bacteria are a lot more complex. They are a single cell, meaning they can live on their own. So that means they grow bigger and bigger. Uh, or in numbers, yes. They, they will amplify in numbers. You know how many viruses there are? Millions. Uh, I don't know the exact number because every creature on the planet is infected by viruses. Humans, animals, plants, fish. Speaking of fish, one time I went fishing, none of us caught fish. Even the others that were there. And I was like, okay. We're going right home. Do you know a cure for the coronavirus? Is there any like drugs you can take? Unfortunately, we don't really have a winning drug that we can just take. But also there are a lot of vaccines being developed. How do viruses get into your body? Like Viruses are transmitted uh, through any exposure route, which could be eating, uh, blood, and also sexually. Some viruses like the coronavirus or like the flu, you can just get it from inhaling it. This is why a lot of people are being asked to wear masks right now. If we're talking this close, that's how people can also get the virus as well? If people are infected with a respiratory virus, certainly. 60, 60. 
mom, as much as I love having you in there, can I have you? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's really cool that you're a virologist. You need to focus on your job and you need to focus on that thing, what you're doing. It was very nice talking to you. You're really cool. Thank you for teaching me about virologist. Would you want to be a virologist? Yeah, I guess I would. That would be cool. You could be a superhero. <laughs> a superhero virologist. I should get a superhero outfit that has V. <laughs> that would be cool. Do you know, Milana, that when you're in your mother's tummy, there's actually a virus that's protecting you? This is called the syncytial trophoblast. Hold on, my ear pods fell out. falling out. It's... You didn't hear anything I said? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like slipping right out of my ear.